everybody, welcome back to Recordology. I'm excited to share with you my shirt. In order to do that, I have to lift it up a little bit, so bear with me. Okay, so we've got a picture of Estelle Getty from Golden Girls, but what makes it funny is the bottom says Savage, and if you know this show, you know she is Savage. Oh, why? I thought she was finished. She just said she was 19. Well, look at her now. You don't call that a tragedy? <laughs> Awesome shirt. JC Penny, go check it out now. But what I really want to talk to you today about is boom boxes. Now you may be saying to yourself, first of all, these things you call boom boxes aren't really boom boxes. So I take that, I take that criticism, I take that feedback, and I say, you know what, you're right. This is probably more of a portable audio device more than anything. There's probably not a whole lot of boom going on. But that being said, it's actually quite unique in what it does. So this is going to be unlike any boombox portable that you've ever seen before, you're not going to want to miss this. This is Recordology. So what on earth could actually make one of these mini boombox portables interesting? Because, I mean, once you've seen one, you've seen a few. You know what I mean? This one is unique because, take a look. It's an internet radio mini boombox portable thing. So the fact that they're adding internet radio makes this unique. Now, you may be saying to yourself, gosh, Recordology, you've done a lot of internet radio lately. And some people have said to me, you know, it's very sort of passe. You know what I mean? Like internet radio is, is not that big of a deal. There's not like major companies. There's a handful that come out with this stuff, Ocean Digital and a couple others out there. But there's not a whole lot of people doing this. Is there really that much of a market for it? Well, this is a brand new product. So Ocean Digital apparently felt that there was enough of a market to come out with a new product, a new offering. And they offer, you know, a full range of internet radios. And we've reviewed a couple of them in the past. So what makes this unique? And as we get into this, we'll talk about that. But if you haven't tried internet radio or you just use it on your phone and you're kind of like, you know, who cares? Who, what's the big deal about internet radio? And you want to kind of learn more. Uh, I'm going to kind of spend some time and we're going to listen to some internet radio a little bit more so than we've done in the reviews before. So once we look at the device, let's actually listen to some and see what it's like to have that internet radio experience. So as you can see on here, we've got some the, the um, stock photos they choose for some of these products these days kind of makes me laugh. So we've got uh, apparently a mother and a son assumedly dancing, they're so happy because they have an Ocean Digital stereo internet radio with CD player, this is the WR6238 CD. We've got access to those same 30,000 plus internet radio stations, which almost every terrestrial radio station also broadcasts an internet radio stream, which yes, you can get on a computer or your smartphone and there's apps that can do it as well, but if you don't have a smartphone if you don't want to access the content in that way or perhaps you don't want to be stuck you know with your phone in hand all day long but want to enjoy some of the benefits of internet radio this might be for you so like I'm thinking like while you're cleaning in the house you know working in the garage you know who knows something like that and in internet radio you may be saying well you can just listen to whatever song you want these days with all these different apps why would you want internet radio Sometimes it's nice just to disengage and have sound in the background of a certain genre around Christmas time. If you want to listen to old time radio and you don't really care about, you know, what song to play specifically. And yeah, I know you can do that in those apps too, but you know, I believe there is a place for this. I personally have so many different audio formats and I've really learned to enjoy it. It definitely has a place in my listening experience throughout the week. Okay, so uh, wireless internet radio. It does have the DAB and DAB plus as well as FM. A CD player, Bluetooth, uh, USB audio playback. So it can really play back quite a few different formats. Looking on the side here, we see more of that. 99 presets. I can't imagine programming in 99 stations. Like, was that not, uh, program 73 or 49? I can't remember you know, where I had, I can't imagine. <laughs> it seems a bit excessive, you know, five or six presets maybe. Um, it does have a remote control, aux input, all that good stuff, a 2.4 inch screen, and I'm assuming a similar navigation experience than the other devices, but we'll check that out in a minute. But most importantly, enjoy the radio. You guys really enjoy the radio. All right, let's open it up and see what we got here. 
Wow, that is a thick manual. Look at that. I wonder how many languages that's in. Good grief. This one looks like it got chewed up a little bit. I'm sure it's four pages in English and then repeated in... Well, maybe not. There's quite a bit there, actually. Wow. Maybe it's more complicated than we thought. Still in English. Still in English. Okay, so... I would say a third of it in English. So sounds like I better hold on to that. I'm terrible about just tossing that and then I'm like, wait a minute, how do I actually do that? A little pamphlet here showing some of the other models. That look familiar? Really cool stuff. Actually, I think that's, is that the one I have? That might be the one I have. And this one, really cool having this connected to your hi-fi. Very fun to have with a nice strong antenna on the back. By the way, if you want to see more about those or any of our other reviews, check out our channel. We put playlists together on unboxing reviews, and you can search our channel if you want to learn about other internet radios. All right, here's the remote. I really hope that it doesn't have button cell batteries. That's a different remote. Okay. Please don't have button cells. Okay, cool. I think it's triple A's. Yes. Yes. Smart. And yeah, I know you can get button cells, but it's amazing. Right now in our house, we have about four or five devices with button cell batteries that need replacing. Yeah, I like it. It's got a nice brushed, kind of a, it's plastic, but a, kind of a brushed metal look or appearance. That feels good. I like that. They have good remotes. Very functional, well-designed. Got a little thank you note here. Quick start guide. And the device itself which is sandwiched lovingly between two drink carrier type pieces. <laughs> I can't think of the word. Very recyclable, I would say, versus styrofoam. And here is the device wrapped in plastic. It does take a wall wart power supply, which is kind of odd. Usually these types of devices take like an AC figure of eight lead directly into the device. This one does not. So it does come with a wall wart. And obviously it's battery operated, so you can have complete portability. Okay, let me get rid of the packaging, add to the landfill a little bit, and we'll take a look at things in closer detail. First thing that stands out to me actually is based on the pictures on the box versus the device inside, that looks similar form factor, the front forward, you know, front facing speakers sort of a rounded appearance. But looking at this device, the speakers are actually shooting out sideways, which is really interesting. And it's a lot deeper. The proportions are just different is what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, I mean, let's take a look at this thing. It's interesting. So got a nice sturdy plastic handle here on top. Pu a push button eject mechanism for the CD player. And it does use that typical portable CD player kind of snap on Spindle, interesting placement on the laser back there. Usually they're kind of off to the left. Little indents here so you can get leverage on different size discs. And there's the bottom of the lid. Because it uses the snap-on mechanism, there's no stabilizer there. Ocean Digital. It's a matte finish for the most part. Okay, and looking right here, we've got a home button, a favorite button, a forward and back skip, as well as a stop and power button over there. And then we've got this jog wheel here, which also allows you to click down. So yeah, those are the controls and it's not unlike their other portables. Let's look at the back here. On the back, we've got an aux input. We've got the DC input. We've got the telescoping antenna. On the side here, we have a USB jack, random, but okay. For USB playback, interesting. There's like this sort of a knockout here with nothing in it. Over here, same knockout, but no other controls. On the bottom, wow, this is a gigantic battery compartment. Assuming that's what it is. Yeah, holy cow. <laughs> okay. Looks like it takes C's. And this is a non-used chamber there. So perhaps you can definitely keep your power supply in there when you're not using it. Interesting. There's a very large battery compartment. Snap that back on. Got, feels like foam pad feet. 
not rubber feet. So it's very difficult to film this reflective panel on the front here, but you can see the screen is there. We'll go into a darkened room so we can see that better. And then I assume this is the infrared receiver. Interesting they don't smoke it or anything. It's just a clear plastic with the electronics exposed in there. And that's pretty much it. Let's start by checking out some of the other functions besides the internet radio portion. We'll listen to the CD player, we'll listen to the FM. Pretty common these days that they're not including AM radio in new products. Oops. So, power it on. Outside of the transport controls and the jog and shuttle control on top, there's no other like input switches, unlike another boom box of this type. Sorry, I keep calling it a boom box. It just, that's what I've got stuck in my head. So I'm gonna be using the remote that we looked at and the rest of it's done through on-screen menus. And again, if you've seen these Ocean Digital devices, this is how you navigate everything on these devices. So you learn one of the menus and the other ones are very, very similar. So we're gonna take a look at that. Upper left-hand corner shows the strength of the Wi-Fi signal. Right now I'm probably three or four walls uh, between me and my router, which is probably a good 60 feet away in the house. So it's not the strongest back here, which is one reason why I love that rack mount unit that we that I showed you a picture of a minute ago and we reviewed in the past is because it picks up a stronger signal. So sometimes I do have a signal cutting in and out when I'm this far away. You can see it sort of bouncing between two and three bars of service. So back here, or back here, here on the menu, you can see that we default into a screen that shows the time, the date, and uh, the favorites list. So this is gonna be the favorite uh, internet station list that we've set or we've built as we've gone forward using either the jog control on the front of the unit or the remote I'm gonna go to the right here you may see sort of this light flash kind of deal because this is a uh, infrared remote like your TV remote so let me show you here you can actually see these on camera see that little flash there not viewable to the naked eye but on camera it does show up as a flash of light because it's like a pulse of light Anyhow, so you, you may see that flash. The screen to the eye looks nice and rich. The little white lines at the top there are the bevel of the screen enclosure reflecting the screen. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to see what you're looking at, but it's a good screen. I mean, the viewing angle is good. I can go left and right, up and down. Sometimes with uh, super cheap uh, Nokia type screens, the viewing angle is very limited. I have these like handheld video games that you can only look at them from like the right hand side because they go dark if you look to the left. It's really strange, but this has a good viewing angle and you know does the job well. So you go to the right, you get to the internet radio menu. We'll get back to that in a minute. Media center, so you can connect this to a media server in your house if you happen to have one. We've got the DAB radio, uh, which we don't have here in the United States. We have HD radio, but if you're in the UK, other places that support it, you can do DAB radio. And there's the FM dial. So let's go ahead and select that. And we'll do an FM full scan. So it is going to start the radio function and scan frequencies. And it will kind of populate a list of stations. Some people don't like that ability. They want to tune a tuning dial. This, I don't think, has a tuning dial. We may have to see. Maybe that jog control functions as a tuning dial. But from what I can tell, this might just be a scan only type of radio setup. And we'll go ahead and let it finish here and see what we get. Okay, it took about two minutes, but it did scan. I think we got 23 stations, it looks like here. So then it populates it into this list, and we can sort of use the remote control. And let's see if that jog control works as well. Can we? Yep, we can use that to go down, and we'll find a station. This is interesting, because this is the station that's on this part of the dial is actually 101.1, .1, but it picked it up as 101.5. Let's click on that using the jog control. Interesting. Now, can I adjust the tuning with this? No, that's volume. Okay, so the jog dial becomes the volume dial. I'm gonna turn that down so we don't have any copyright issues. And what if I want to manually adjust it? Can I do that? There is a button on the remote that says local. What does that do? Oh, that's local internet. Okay, sorry. Sorry for that derailment there, guys. Let's go back to the home button and we see we default back to that menu so we need to get back to the FM radio menu station list so this is what you had populated earlier okay 
Okay, so it's really, it looks like it's just a scan radio. I'll have to read the manual offline and see if I can find any more details about how to manually control that. That could exist, that functionality. I'm not seeing it, though. And there's nothing on. Oh, I guess it would help if I turn the volume up. I'm like, I don't hear anything. Let's go back to the previous. Let's go up here. And... Okay, so that's cool. It shows us the genre and the name of the station. Come on. The uh, tripod setup is kind of blocking the, the my access to the IR receiver, so it's kind of flaky in terms of me trying to connect to it, but it's not the fault of the unit. Okay, now we're on the time. Okay, so if I go right or left, it cycles through the different screen options. By the way, the, the screen color to the eye is very, very vibrant. It looks very washed out on camera, but that bar at the top is actually a beautiful vibrant blue it's just playing tricks with this okay so if we want to change stations then let me select and see what happens so we're still on kcbo kbco okay so the way you skip stations is with the forward and back transport not the menu left and right weather is this really a weather station let me get to turn that up no, I don't think so. How does the sound quality? It's okay. It's it, you know, the sound quality is it's all right. It's okay. All right, let's go back home. I mean, it sound there is there you can hear a touch of bass. It's pretty you know bright sounding. All right, I'm going to go back to the home screen again. We default back to this. Let's go ahead and pass the FM radio. There's a Bluetooth. I'm not going to connect a Bluetooth right now because, you know, it's not that exciting. Same thing with the aux input. I apologize. Let me see if I can calibrate the uh, camera a little better. Okay, that looks a little bit better. CD player. Let's do test that out. So I am going to put in a compact disc. Oops. Oh, interesting. The handle, you can't see it now, but the handle blocked the lid opening up until I put it back so all right so the lid is down I am selecting CD nope I didn't touch anything fast enough because it went back to this default mode okay so you select CD and it is reading the CD you can hear it spinning up inside there 99 tracks. Why is it a 99 track CD? It's a broadcast music CD, so it's got a lot of little short clips on there. Alrighty, let's turn it volume up a little bit. CD sounds better than the FM. Skip forward a few. This isn't the highest end broadcast CD. This <laughs> all sounds like it was composed on a keyboard. Now I wonder if you can program the CD player. By the way, there is EQ. I can hit the EQ button and adjust that. So let's try some different EQ settings. That one sounds a little different. Disco. That's odd. We got a disco setting. Anybody got a disco setting? Kind of odd to see that. Soft, hall, advanced, which you could probably set individual frequencies. This is cool. Look at that. 3D depth. That's cool. All right, I want to play with that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Select that. This is mono, by the way, for you guys, so you can't... That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's kind of... I don't know exactly what it's doing, but it's... 
got kind of a spaciousness to it. I like it. That's cool. And you can do that on any type of music. So you can do it on the CD. You can do it on the radio, presumably, the internet radio as well. That's cool. All right, what happens if I go back home now? So we've done the CD player. It probably is programmable settings. You can select the USB for listening to MP3s. You can use, these all have alarm clocks, even the rack mount unit, which is kind of interesting. Sleep timer, so you can use one of these presets for sleeping. Let me hit the home button again. It always takes you back to that same place. I'm gonna keep going through to the right here. There are the configuration settings. You can adjust date and time. FM setup. I wonder if I can adjust the FM area, FM full scan. Okay, it looks like you can maybe adjust the stepping. Okay, it was set to Europe. That's why we were at 0.5. Yes. Okay, so I could rescan it and I'd probably get a little closer on those FM frequencies. Okay. By the way, you're enjoying the continued sounds of the CD as we go through here. Back to that favorites. So let's go into the internet radio. That's what we're here for. So it uses the SkyTune service, which is a free kind of open access platform with not hundreds, but tens of thousands, like 45,000 radio stations from all over the world. And you can browse, you can search, or you know you can look at your history. But let's go ahead and browse. Oops. I didn't touch anything fast enough. I didn't select anything, and it went back to it went back to the screen. So that's. I wonder if you can adjust the, the timeout on that. It's possible. All right. So let's go back into here, and we're just going to browse. Let's select SkyTune. And we could do local. You can search by region, by genre, which is cool. So let's go to genre. And I promised that we would, you know, really spend some time in listening and listen to this. So let's let's listen to some internet radio. And again, this is set up more as an educational thing versus, you know, trying to provide the highest quality sound experience in this video. Again, you're at the mercy of the broadcaster in terms of sound quality. So you just gotta see what you get. It didn't sound like story radio to me, that sounded like music. Let's try this one. <laughs> 还是金安县布谷镇白羊玉人吗? 咱凭啥把人家赶跑啊? I really wish I understood what you're saying. It sounds interesting. <laughs> that is cool. Alright, let's go ahead and see what else we can browse to here. Alright,这也就差不多了吧? 他们千里迢迢从南方赶过来回老家来了，咱们还能把咱们赶出去啊？不管他们在哪落脚，人家一打听，这人是被白羊玉。181 FM. We've got a lot of stations. They've got a good Christmas station in this town. That's cool, but with my wireless, I get unlimited for just thirty bucks. Impressive. But does yours have 5G included? Of course. In my now this brings up a good question. So advertising. Some stations have no commercials whatsoever. So you can pick from you know 40,000 stations to find any genre you want with no ads, no commercials. There's a major, major benefit over you know over the air terrestrial radio. And even a lot of the apps, like the TuneIn app, they pump it full of commercials. I remember trying to listen to a Fox uh, broadcast on there a few weeks ago, and I had to sit through six minutes of commercials before the stream actually started. And my experience with internet radio is most of it is ad-free, which is great. So uh, I still cared about people at this point. <laughs> So I was like, I gotta put a stop to this because in my Mayberry head, I thought this was New York's biggest problem. So I, uh, they kick the guy out. I get outside. He's across the street. I walk over to him. You know, the more I listen to the sound quality, I'm actually thinking it sounds pretty dang good. 
It is not too shabby whatsoever. You will notice, by the way, we did not encounter a headphone jack. So I think you are bound by these speakers. A Bluetooth is only going to be self-serving inbound Bluetooth. It's not going to transmit Bluetooth. So if that's why when you're thinking about internet radio, you really need to think about the product that you want. Do you want something for your hi-fi that you can listen to on your nice speakers? Do you want a battery-operated portable? Do you want something that has, you know, something like a CD player built in or these other features? Does that have any value to you? This is awesome. Old-time radio. This is so cool that you could just listen to old-time radio. Let's pull up one of these stations here. For talk, you'll notice the bandwidth can be a lot lower and still sound decent. It's simple. There's never been anything like this. All vegan, made without soy, grain, or gluten. From all we got an ad. That's like okay. Garlic, tomatoes, and smoked peppers. This isn't just a first for Chipotle. It's the first time. It to be fun to her. Well, that's how it is with Dr. William Tonhunter Hall, president of Ivy, as he enters his own front door at number one faculty row. Hey kid, hey kid, where are you? Your chicken has come home to roost. A lot of times the file names of old-time radio shows actually include date codes built into them. It's kind of how they save the file names sometimes. So you'll see 195-20409. So this is in all likely a 1952, April 9th episode of Halls of Ivy. All right, let's go ahead and use the forward skip button and go on to the next station in this genre and see what we get. And that's kind of cool. Once you're on a genre you like, you can kind of skip through them and pick up, you know, different shows and channels. Hey, Get some paper and make a bundle. We're taking this stuff to headquarters. Okay, Jacob. But Sheriff Davies, I need those certificates. So do I. I'm filing Uncle Brock's will for probate. These prove what's, what, well, what's become of his estate. They might prove a lot more, Mr. Randall, when I get through with them. <laughs> Sheba, I brought you some lunch. I'm sorry I'm so late, but... Why, Jeff, what are you dressed all up in your Sunday suit for? It looks good, doesn't it? First time I've worn it in two years. All right, so there's a little taste of internet radio. We listened to a couple of different things. I, you, we could go on and on and on and on and on. Rather than do that on this video, if you're interested, I would suggest picking up an internet radio. If you don't have the inclination to do so, or you can't afford one, no worries. This content is available through your computer, through various apps. If you just search internet radio, you will find something if you just want to listen without the device. But if you want the device, you know, these are cool examples that we've reviewed. This is probably the last internet radio video we'll do for the foreseeable future, unless something you know, earth shattering comes along that we haven't talked about, but we've sort of covered it in all of its forms. To me, internet radio is about quantity over quality. It's qual quantity of variety of content. You can find anything. It's not the highest fidelity sound quality. It's not designed to be. It is access to stuff that you wouldn't be able to easily access otherwise. And think of the options here. Like you could connect anywhere you got wireless, you could connect this and have you know that connectivity and once you're connected you're good to go it'll remember the internet connection and you can come back in you can set these favorites you can come back and really start experiencing music and media from around the world that excites me on a level that I really haven't felt since the days of shortwave when I could sit in my room as a teenager and pull up you know internet or not internet pull up radio from all over the world this is you know before the internet was so prolific that it was not you know it was not that as exciting perhaps as it used to be but i remember that thrill and to me i feel a little bit of that with internet radio so there you go guys hope you enjoyed this hey guys and that's going to do it thank you so much for watching today's show if you haven't done so already 
thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends all the good stuff. Anyway, that's going to do it for now, guys. Happy record hunting. See you next time.